Hello and welcome to Online Saturday. For this weekend, I'm moving away from Splatoon 3 on the Switch. As you can see, it's Overwatch 2. I'll be playing this game on the launch PS4 model. And I guess a little bit back history, I've um, only played Overwatch 1 when it was available as a free weekend. And it's been a little while since that happened. So, whilst I'm a little bit familiar with Overwatch, generally this is pretty much me going in new. I don't know any of the real new characters over the last few years. And Overwatch 2, I know very little about it. I was actually a little surprised that it came out as free to play because the first one wasn't. I knew that it was coming, but I didn't really expect it to actually be free. So, I, this is just me going in for the first time, and let's just see what it's like. I think, trying to remember what I played at the first one, I remember that's like an escort mission, or were you escorting something across the map? And I remember I used to be the, um, the, uh, the female character who's Snow. And that's all Japanese because um, I live in Japan. So if you're unfamiliar with my other videos, that's where I play. So you may get character names or bits in game that come out as Japanese. But I've seen this if you see my Mario Kart online stuff, or even the, um, or even the what is it was it Puzzle and Dragon on Switch as well. That's also in um, Japanese, and so is Splatoon. Play Heroes Battle Pass. Well, from what I remember, Battle Pass is something you got to pay for, so I'm not going to do that right now. Account Merge? What's that? Is that going to be linking online stuff? Well... <laughs> I don't know. Let's just play. Unranked. Competitive. Arcade. Custom. Training. Hmm. Training would be an option, but I'm fairly familiar with shooters. I know this isn't like a Fortnite style, so I'll probably be better playing this one than a Fortnite. This is a get a bit more sort of Unreal Tournament style, I would say. Let's just try one unranked and see what happens. Choose a role before you play. Uh I guess we can choose tank, support, damage. Oh. Okay. So it looks like there might be a weight to play. I think I need to cancel the search. I think I need to check the settings. My screen is not matching the TV. Where's the options? So I just press the um, options button and it got to options. Video. Oh, I see. Let's make that a round number. 2.5. Um, brightness, probably fine. Whoops. Um, there we go. Network latency. Interpolation, don't want that much. I'll apply. Um, there is nothing to do a screen, I don't think. But there's an awful lot of options when it comes to the menus. Okay, there's a color blindness option. That's useful for quite a few people. And to be honest, with the um, I'll put some subtitles on for those who are watching, maybe without the sound on. But yeah, there's nothing for me to change the screen issue. Interesting. Okay. Competitive. Should we just go straight in to see what happens?
Okay, so there's a lot of things to consider. A little complicated. Skill tiers, five per level. Competitive matches, take rounds. It resets after a season. Okay, top 500. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get there. But I don't mind. Complete competitive play challenge. Huh? Well, that's what I'm asking. That's what I want to do. Wait. There's nothing here about competitive play channel. Play. Competitive. Can't play. Needs to complete competitive play. What the? How does that work? I guess we just quick play so it's disappointing that is already a little bit um, complicated why are you wait unavailable for searching for a game okay well, at least there's some things you can do but it's not a lot of things to do while you wait Exactly. Well, I guess we can have a look what there is here. Push the bot further than enemy team. I might have played that when it was something something similar in Overwatch 1. But I can't really read the others. There's too much text covering it. Oh, well, I guess we wait. I know it's like the launch week. So it's very possible that it's going to be busy. And who knows how many servers are going to be up we're around here in Asia but already even with Splatoon 3 and Splatoon 3 was a huge release here so so big but even then getting into games took like 10 seconds 15 seconds 30 seconds was the normal a minute or over was very very rare right up until the Splatfest so to have this game, after playing Splatoon 3, to have it take this long already, I'm already frustrated in comparison. As someone who hasn't played Overwatch 1 in like f 2 or 3 years, but, but has played a more modern game since then, you know, if, if it feels slow, it feels cumbersome, and in Splatoon 3 where you're waiting, you have an open room where you can go around and shoot stuff. But there is... Can I do training while waiting? Okay, I might be able to practice. But that's an extra menu. In Splatoon 3, you're just there. You're already in the menu, so you'll start and you... um. Alright, so we have all these characters, I'm guessing these, long, these ones are the medics. I've been him before, I recognize him. I'll lock fire challenge, so I can't use him right now, excellent. I don't recognize him, I mean I don't recognize him as someone I've played. Well, if you see my Splatoon videos, I tend to be a bit more medic based, but that doesn't seem to be a good option. Well, I've been her before, so let's have a look. Come on, Snowball. They need our help. So, not a long range weapon. That's general. Okay. Oh yes, this is the wall. So will that do anything with it then? Okay, so my gun needs to recharge. <laughs> Say game found, and it has to exit, and it has to go into this, and whatever, whatever. <laughs> A 
assemble your team. So these are the only characters I have. I got to unlock a lot of these. What? I don't know who half of these are. Sure. I guess. <laughs> wow. Why well, have so many on the screen if I can't use them, you know? Well, why are they all grouped together? Why not? Why can't the unlocks be grouped separately? And how do you run? Think of it as fuel beneath the flames of your vengeance. So I can't really, I don't know what my things do. Alright, I've got a rocket launcher. Fair enough. This looks like the best team in the solar system. So defend? Against what? Where are they going to come from? Defend objective A. So a couple are going out to attack. Wait, so I'm shooting from behind. Oh, I was totally looking in the wrong place. Okay, I was eliminated. Not too bad. Guessing my rockets weren't getting there. Whoa, big jump. Oh, that's what L1 does. Ah, oh, okay, I've got a rocket launcher of sorts. Wow, oh, these players are pretty good. So I can change hero. Fair enough. That's nice to know. Uh, where is it? Yes, I actually got someone. <laughs> oh dear me. So, who can I change to? We're all attacking. Uh, it's like, I don't know what these are, which, which ones are good or not. Screw it, let's just go for the Queen. I keep thinking L3 is going to be like, um, uh, run. Let's not. I got someone? That's weird because it doesn't feel like I'm getting someone. Well, it's nice to have a longer range weapon with my knife. Whoa. Definitely don't remember that. What does triangle do then? Yeah, I maybe should have done some training. I don't know what half the buttons do or half the moves do. But I think I'll stick with the character for a little bit longer. Finding out that the L1 was throwing a knife, it's nice that he gives a bit more range option. It's just the normal throwing. Oh, I wonder where my knife went. Is that, is that a limited use? Looks like so 
So L1, R1, L2. Wait, have I been pressing the wrong button? Okay. And L1, I think I was pressing the um wrong button. Special super, it's really difficult. That's not okay, let's keep going. Might have to adjust my approach. I am under attack. Where are they? There's one over there. Guess we lost. Did we? I don't know. Please not be against me. <laughs> I don't want to be a part of that. Oh, it was that last week. So, yeah. Oh well. I unlocked someone. Okay. So we got to. Let's just get any game going. And what's the wait? Let's go to practice. Wait, am I entering a game or practice? Okay, practice. So we unlocked someone called Genji. So where is Genji? Yeah, I'm on the launch PS4, remember, so it's taking a little while for this character stuff to load. There he is. Now let's see what that's like. Okay, so R2. Fun. Uh, L1. Zoom attack. R1. Knife. Wait, what? Cool animation. I like that. Getting them from his arm. So, what did R1 do? I don't know. This is my team. Okay, so L3 fires three of them. Nice to know. Ah, oh, okay, that's what R1 does. Okay. So, not bad. Gives me a. I do like to play a bit more range. If you've seen my Splatoon videos, you would have seen that. That's something that I quite like. Alright, so L3 does n nothing really. R3. Okay, melee. So if I do that. <laughs> okay, you haven't quite got all the buttons worked out yet. Select a teammate. I don't know, what does that mean? Uh, I don't know. Get off my screen. I want to change hero. Wait, I've got to choose some different people now. Why can't I use Genji? I unlocked him. What? Well, there's no medic. Hello. So I guess I'll be a medic then. Which one does what? That's the thing. 
if that's set to speed or do I need to set it to um but I guess you can't predict everything so we need to we've got a long way to defend someone I got someone, he's a medic. But I don't know what medic does. <laughs> it's like, you look on the bottom right, none of that says heal. It's all different symbols. <laughs> so going in with a character I've never played before, it's like, what? Which one of those is the heal button? I'm guessing R2 is just, you know, fire. And of course on my screen it says who's who's sick. But again, none of that. What? Oi, this is play? frustrating. So L1 changes it to heal. And looks like I have a healing circle. Or oh, I did, or oh, I do. So have I got to keep them in this circle to heal them? I got someone. Yeah, I'm changing the character. I don't like this character. Or oh, I don't like how unclear it is exactly what to do. I guess Moria? Try that one? Oh, I feel so slow. Definitely, definitely not doing a good job there. Oh, I did not like that as well either. Um, I guess try mercy. Don't worry, I'll be right behind you. Wait, what does this gun do? Where did this one come from? Why do I? I huh? No, changing. Healthy body, healthy mind. Sure, let's just try this guy. Two guns might be good. Alright, a little slow on my part there. But it does feel like it's um, many against few. Get my revenge. Look at that. That's been shot at. Yeah, we lost pretty heavily there. And they beat me very quickly. Die, die, die. So this unranked session, it does feel like it is not balanced whatsoever against who you're playing with. Yeah, I love Diva. Will I actually ever get to play as her? I guess let's just try another quick play. But still, it's um. 
I don't know, I think I've been spoiled by how great Splatoon 3 is. Or how that style of game is. Okay, so we unlocked Diva. So which one is she? That one. Okay, let's have a look, a little look. So we're in a mech suit, I assume. That one's that. What does that do? What does that do? So that's super speed. That was L2. I want the rockets. So in the last game, I on the Diva character I think it was. Um, I changed weapons. I was pr trying what the direction buttons on the pad do. So down is emote. Up. What's it? What's the logo do? Huh? So there's no double jump. Is this like a shield? Alright, what's trying to do? Big bada boom. Okay, so I do have a gun myself. With only one mode. And okay, I'm no, I don't mind this character. I think I would like a higher jump, or I would like something that um, had a bit more range. That could be what these missiles do. It would still be nice to know a bit more what this L2 does. It could be a shield. That would be my first guess. Because you see the bullets come at me. But if I do the shield... They don't. So my guess is that's a shield of some sort. So it's nice having symbols, but when you're new to the game, <laughs> sorry Tracer, but when you're new to the game, maybe it should just be um, it's a little bit of writing to say what they do, maybe. Okay, so I like this character. I think I might try her. Let's see who else we've got. I think we have Tracer unlocked. So I guess we can try Tracer. Oh no, into a game. It's difficult to get used to how long it takes to get into a game. It must be because it's the launch week. It has to be that. This can't be normal with normal games. I mean, like I, said, like I said, Splatoon 3 has just completely spoiled me. Let's get D.Va. I can select skin. How do I do that? Change. Oh well. Fair enough. So this is... I guess it just says attack. Right, this is the How do I get out of here? Let me out. Twelve seconds. I still haven't worked out what run is. How do you run? Well, oh, melee is cool. Activating the attack objective. They go that way. I'll go this way. And <laughs> we'll get there at some point. Now, where is the enemy? I think I see someone coming my way. Ah, they spotted me. Oops. Kind of flailing around a little bit here with the buttons. Got someone. Huzzah.
So, that's nice. It looks like when my suit died, I was still able to get out and attack on foot. Kind of like a second chance, I guess, but... Eh, it's not too bad. We're not doing too well as a team. What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> I hadn't seen that before. Hmm. Interesting. Eliminated by Rapid's men. Wait, was my mech suit still there somewhere? Yeah, curious. I guess with Splatoon 3 you would have seen that it's much more simpler idea. Ink the ground. And each of the weapons inks it slightly differently from the other. Run away. Okay, so I'm stuck on foot for a little while. Ah, you hear that? Do you see that? I uh, got hit by a car. That was funny. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Let's try this door. Where are they? Have we actually pushed them back? Oh, bunny suit is ready. Go on, blow up, blow up. Ah, nuts. What? Uh, I'm fa it's nice that I have a character that I like. I can roughly understand how to you use the character and... That remains to be seen. And that's great. What's that? You're so far but the, the gameplay feels... I, hear you. I don't know, not quite there for me at the moment. Alright, so... Where is it? I should say that, well, if you saw from the start, you know that I've played the free days, the free weekends. I don't actually remember a lot of the maps either. Die, robot. Whoa. I was hit by a hammer. <laughs> yeah, it's all these maps. I might have played a couple of them, but I don't actually remember what a lot of them do. Or where where to go in a lot of them. I think that's it. at the beginning, I remember the girl with the ice gun. I played with her. I remember the, um, the guy with the balls that float. I played as him. But other than that... I don't really remember. So also I'm able to use this character. Also, it is slow. And the gameplay from the other characters feels much faster. So I think... I guess now might be Genji, and if someone's Genji, I don't think I can be Genji. Go down the side. Nuts. Who shot me? Where are they? Where are they? Come on. 
Ooh, the my suit. Well, I guess I captured and I got some points, but... But, like, the weapons of this character, it feels... Weak. Ineffective. It's like, I, it feels like I can shoot. And, yes, it does damage, but it does so little damage. This character... You know, I mean, here's me coming, not playing for a long time, saying, Oh, this character feels unbalanced and doesn't feel right. But that's, that is generally how I feel. Yeah, I just got someone. But I felt like I did more damage with her weapon then. Uh, I don't know. I guess when you the objective is killing people, the gun that kills people the best is what you want. Whereas in Splatoon 3, the objective is just ink. And that's the key part. Key part. And all the weapons ink. But they all do it in different ways, it's better to and I don't See that's the weird thing. It's difficult to compare this to Splatoon. But I feel like the weapons are better balanced than Splatoon. Even though they do completely different things. In my I've done many videos on Splatoon now and I've shown that I'm bad with this weapon, but good with this weapon. This weapon's good for attacking, this weapon's good for inking, this weapon does this, this weapon does that, and there's different specials, different bombs, and for some reason I feel like even just the few times I've played this game just now, that has a better balance to it, a better feel to it. Oh, I got a lot more points there. Cassidy, okay. Let's play another one. Perhaps one more quick play and then we'll see what ranked looks like. And yeah, I know that um, it's not comparing apples to apples, it is two totally different things I'm comparing game wise to. Oh, wait, where are we going? Practice or game? Uh, game, okay. Yeah, so you know, I understand that it's not exactly a fair comparison. Um, who should I be? I haven't been Genji yet, so let's try that. Oh, I've got a different skin. Okay, and I have this. Um, guess not. So, we're attacking a vehicle on the move. We have so much time to prepare. Why is there such a long wait before you can attack? Why don't we just get more time to choose a character and less time to wait for a game to start? Or why is there not like a console in the room so if the game starts and you want to change character you can just hit the console and change character? I know that it feels like I'm just complaining about this game. Oh, for some reason I was worried about the edge of the map there. Okay. Um, I did forget all my moves. Yeah, 
just feels like there's no weight to my attacks. I have a knife, and it just feels like I'm doing nothing to them. It could also be like the controller. I'm playing on a launch PS4, so I have some rumble, but you know, I don't have. There may not be any heft to the rumble. Hopefully, if they're shooting at me, they're not paying attention to my teammates. That's the hope, anyway. Oh, someone good up there. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought that might be a secure place. Ah, here's a teleport. Okay. I thought that might be secure because you get there from the base. I think I'm going to change character because this is not doing anything. It's just the same thing happening again and again. So we unlock Cassidy. No idea what he does. Let's just try something. At least we've got a bit more health. Maybe we can survive a bit longer. Getting that shadow guy gets back up there. Uh. So it's not a secure, stable. Whatever. Okay, it's gotta be. Yeah. This guy's got the plan. The shadow guy is usually around this part anyway. Try that again. I still got L1 to play with, so I haven't tried that move yet. Well, that didn't seem to do anything. At least I got someone. That's good, that's progress. So I got one kill so far. One kill. I guess we'll stay as a character, we got a kill. But the L1 seemed really useless. At least with the bomb that seemed to do something. Move it? Did that move it at all? Even a little bit? Hmm. I guess I said we're doing something with this character, so I guess we'll keep it for a little bit. Or maybe not, because we just lost. I guess being stuck in my own area, it does feel very frustrating. And I keep bringing up um, Splatoon 3, but the point is because the objective isn't kills, it's, it's inking, you also have a better way to get out of your area in terms of you can spawn other players, but you can also appear at different points in like a set area. Anna plus. Okay, so let's try a ranked. Let's just see how that. What? Competitive play challenge. What is that? Where is that challenge? 
There's nothing here that tells me what that is, where that is, or how to do it. Is it in arcade? There's nothing there that says competitive challenge. So wait, ah, oh, this game is so frustrating to get into. It's frustrating to play. <laughs> oh, you know, if you enjoy this game, I'm happy for you. We all need deserve to have something that we like. I genuinely, 100% was coming into this thinking that this could be a new game for me to play online. Especially now it's free to play. But I think Splatoon 3 has just spoilt me. It's quicker to get into games. The games feel more balanced. The games feel um, more competitive. Well, we just got this character, so I guess we could try it. And the games also don't feel as one-sided. So far, every one of these games, it has felt lopsided. Sleep dart, okay. That is sniper. And attack. So how do I heal? To keep a scope on Genji. Always so unpredictable. As strange as it sounds. I'm like sorry. Don't be. How Keeps it's not shot. clearly obvious what I'm doing is actually gonna do any healing. That's Five, obvious. Four, Who did that? Three, two, one. Attack oh, I don't know. Ah, oh, you, you jumped. So, I know this character is a sniper, it's probably better for long range attacks. But, even, but all those attacks I just did, none of them felt satisfying. None of the. And these characters move so much that it's like, what use is a sniper in a game where everyone moves fast? Like, how do I heal? Just, do I have magic bullets? Is that what I've got to do? It's like in the character introduction, I feel like it should say what my character does. How each one... Wait, I couldn't shoot that while zoomed either. That's... It's understandable, but still. Where's the corner gone? Uh, let's go through here. The enemy, the enemy is not here. Let's keep going. Oh, there's someone. I think I have to shoot my teammates to heal them. I don't mind doing that. I still have some fight in me. But yeah, it would be nice to have been told that from the off in the character screen to heal, shoot teammates. Instead of just having to randomly find out heal or fire training. 
I mean, get back here. I'm trying to heal you. Ah. I'm not enjoying this character. Let's pick someone else. I don't care if we become lopsided. See, I was the only healer, and I'm not doing a good job, so. No. Nope. Still, Cassidy. He's the only one that's done uh, that I've done any type of good with so far. I think I hit him. Big giant guy with my tiny little uh, hands, but never mind. Again, it just doesn't feel satisfying. I'm sure I'm shooting them, but there's no, it doesn't feel to be an oomph about it. And look, it just seems to be. It just takes them so long because they're organized. My team has worked out how to do it. And even in my depth, it just feels so cartoonish and doesn't feel that brilliant, if I'm honest. Cool little bit there, I must admit. Oh, it's against me as well. I've got you in my sights. What's the time? Uh, we play a little bit more, but this is just annoying me. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I have played. I mean, I've played online games before on the PS3. I used to play Resistance and um, Uncharted and Killzone multiplayer games. And I guess they, they were satisfying because you weren't stuck in one game mode for a lot of them, like Killzone was famous for having a mode where it changes every two or three minutes so you yes you could get stuck in your home base and the team could do that but they get no points for it it's weird shooting these I get a nice vibration I get nice feedback from the controller and it feels better but whereas playing against people it doesn't feel as satisfying and of course this is like early release for Overwatch 2 there's probably going to be a patch with 2 coming for rebalancing and other stuff at least the game runs nice it doesn't feel like I'm suffering from lag it doesn't feel like I'm suffering from screen tears and it still looks good the sword. why can't I use this sword all the time why can't I use that all the time that's such a cooler weapon Double jump, interesting. Oh, 
That's strange. So. How do I change to this character then? So, that's not a bot, that's just gonna stand there. For some reason that doesn't want to do anything. Again, that didn't feel that realistic, that jump. It felt too big a gap. That one doesn't feel too bad. Now what do I do over here? Why have this as a place I can go to without having a reason why to go here? Ugh. waiting like four minutes to get into a game it just feels unacceptable it really does so I have to come in here to change hero so what is this tracer I think I you know I remember her being on the box so what can she do a couple of shoot quick shooters okay what's our one do rewind that's not, that could be fun. And L1 is accelerate. Okay. What does L2 do? L2 does a couple of these. Okay. Again, it's like I'm shooting lots of bullets and nothing really happens. And when you shoot, it's like, I don't know, what does triangle do? Let's have a look at this. What did that do? That's such a small jump. It's like the jump doesn't exist. Well, at least the fast moving could be done forward and backwards. I want to get my special powered up so I can find out what that special move does a bit better. So. Ah, uh, sticky bomb. Fine, I suppose. like a whole clip from both guns barely kills someone we're like six minutes now trying to get into a game it feels unacceptable how slow it is and I starting to care less and less about how um, you know that is the game's launch week the game wasn't ready to launch then they shouldn't have launched it if they were not prepared for how busy it is they shouldn't have launched it do what Splatoon did have a, a trial weekend see how it's going to be because even in the trial weekend Splatoon 3 was acceptable it was closer to 30 seconds to a minute but this is seven minutes to get into a game how, how acceptable is that
it doesn't explode. Unsatisfying. Okay. Oh, if, this gets, if this takes 10 minutes to get into a game, I'm just going to quit. It's wasting my time. It's setting a really bad example of a, the game, what the game is, what, what it's like to play the game. Because quite frankly, if you are fired to choose between playing this or Splatoon 3, I would recommend Splatoon 3. Quicker games, quicker get into games, more variety. And character customization, more variety in weapon styles and weapon play, gameplay types. I feel like you could be more satisfied in in that game. But then again, you have to pay for that game. Whereas this, I'm not paying for it. And does that actually come into a, f a factor? Does that really matter? Does the game performing as bad as it does? mean that I should be critical because it is free after all and yeah I should still be critical because I'm still playing it's still a game that's out for people to play if people think it's acceptable to wait 10 minutes to play a game then why is it acceptable is it only acceptable because it's free oh, I don't know it's it feels like, yes, it's free, but it's still a waste of my time. I guess what also doesn't help is that there was an actual free Splatoon 3 day or weekend on Switch. So if you played it, you knew quite quickly if it was something you would like. So whilst it might be free, this game. So it was Splatoon 3 for weekend and I can tell you that free weekend was a lot of fun. There's, I got hours of video on the site of that. So we've been nearly 11 minutes trying to get into a game and that's unacceptable. How they can think it's fine to let players wait that long I don't know. And competitive, still can't get into it, still won't tell me exactly what to do to get into it. <laughs> God, this is like an hour of me just getting more and more angry at a game. This is so not fun, so not what I want to spend my time doing. So, will I come back to Overwatch 2? Probably not the next week or the next couple of weeks. If there's a big patch, big game update, or even if I maybe get a PlayStation 5, then possibly I'll go back and play it. But right now, the game has done nothing to give me a reason to come back to it. It won't let me play a game. It won't tell me what to do to get in. It has unacceptable cues to get into games compared to other bigger games that have released recently. The controls feel fine at best. And there's no like weight to anything. The depths feel like a cartoon. The guns feel like pea shooters. And, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the gameplay is too complicated for the game that they've made. Splatoon 3, ink the ground, that's the game. Simple, but highly effective. But that's just my opinion, of course. You know, that's my opinion, of course. If you guys, if you've had a great time, please... Tell me in the comments. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm not um, using controller properly. Like there's a button I'm missing that would change everything. 
maybe arcade mode is where it's at. But for now, I'm going to say it's just not clicking with me. But I hope it is with you. I hope you do have a wonderful time with this game. So, until my next online video, or maybe until I see you again on the site, take care.